Yo, what's up guys? I'm Yannick from Produce School and we are back with a brand new Vocaloid 5 tutorial. Vocaloid 5 is an audio instrument where you can create vocals with just only a software. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can create vocal chops with this amazing software. Um, and it's pretty easy, so let's get straight into this. So, the first thing you want to do is to select the singer you want. I'm going to start with Amy as my voice because I want a female voice. I already made this beat and it goes like this. It's just a pretty simple kind of hip hop beat um, and I'm going to make the vocal chops on top of it. So let's open up the musical editor where we can start drawing the notes. Select the pencil over here and start creating melody. And now it's just only the ooh 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 sound again. Um, but what you can do is you can select one ooh and then type in some letters like A, E, U, and the O. And then you can this. And it really gives that uh, choppy, vocal choppy effect. Uh, so let's continue with the melody. And this part of the melody is basically And this part of the melody is basically the same as this one but I'm going to change some letters. I'm going to um do the A E U again. But then I want the last one to be uh, an eh sound. Like that. Uh, so let's move on. And again, I want the A, E, U, and O sound. And then in this part, I'm going to use the A, the O. And in this part, I'm going to use the E, A, O. And in this part, I'm going to use the E, O, A, and O sound. So now the basics of the vocal chops are done and they sound I think a bit uh, too humanized and what we can do to make this more choppy we can go to the attack and release effect with this button over here in the control panel and you can select all the notes with control A or command A, -A so like this and then uh, you can go to the release effect and then the dynamics and then you can choose between uh, decrescendo and I'll show you what it does and it just makes sure uh, the volume of every job uh, slides out and it just makes sure uh, the volume of every job fades out at the end. Um, I see that the breath is still on. I can remove it because it's not a humanized vocal. It should be more a kind of robotic vocal. And 
what you can do to make this focal tops sound way better is that you can go to style, choose a lead focal and I'm going to use deep emotion. Let me show you how it sounds right now. And I think it sounds pretty good right now. Um, so let's customize it and I'm going to add some more reverb to it. And last thing you can do to make this folktop sound way better um, is the robot voice. So let me turn this on with this button. Now it is loading. And I'm going to use uh, like the lowest mode for this one because I don't want it to be um, over robotic. And this robot voice gives it a really, really nice effect. Um, so now we can use these vocal chops in future bass projects, future bounce projects. Almost every genre you can use it, even in trap or hip hop. Um, yeah, I think it sounds really good. And I think I explained everything on the vocal chops. So let me play it one more time for you so you can hear how it sounds. If you have any more questions about the software, make sure to drop a comment and I will try to answer them all. If you want to download Vocalot 5, I will leave a link in the description where you can download um, the Vocalot 5 software. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave like and subscribe if you haven't done that yet. I hope to see you in the next tutorial and there's also one more Vocalot 5 tutorial coming soon. And I'll see you next time. Tell me